What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Concrete Reality TV. It's just me this time. I was just watching some YouTube, checking out some videos, and I came across this one. I encourage you, whenever you have a service, I didn't say she had to stop worshiping God. You did. And don't worry about it. What I said was this. What I said was this. When you have a service, we want to make sure we start on time. One, that we don't have to rush the man or woman of God. Okay, so let me finish talking in my house. Damn about you. God bless you, sir. That's not how you order. Like I and that's said, not your fault. God bless you, Listen, sir. believe me, I know. God bless you, sir. There are souls that are still here trying to be free. And I didn't say that she didn't have to stop. I don't give a damn about no damn time limit. God bless you, sir. Who are you to tell God he can't do what he got to do? God bless you, sir. We thank you for coming. When you leave out, please watch out for the step. God bless you. <laughs> that don't make no damn sense. And you a bishop in the large church? Don't put your hands on my shit. From what it seems, the two pastors share the church. One of the pastors took too long with his worship service, and the other pastor came on stage. I'm sorry, <laughs> the pulpit with his congregation, and they debold the other pastor off. He got pissed. Started leaving out and left a few choice words. Those were expletives that definitely don't fit the scene of a worship service. I'm not surprised. It gets ugly. People are still people, no matter what they worship or who they worship. So they're using the same name for the deity. But obviously the ideas and characteristics at that particular time didn't match the same deity.